On a clear September morning in 2001, the world changed forever. The attacks on the World Trade Center and the Pentagon not only left deep scars on the American psyche, but also reshaped global politics and society in profound ways. In the aftermath, a myriad of conspiracy theories emerged, captivating and confusing the public. These range from claims of controlled demolitions to accusations of government complicity. Today we delve into these theories, aiming to separate fact from fiction. Why do conspiracy theories about 9-11s persist? In the wake of the September 11th attacks, a myriad of conspiracy theories began to weave their intricate webs across the globe. One of the most pervasive theories suggests that the World Trade Center towers fell, not due to the impact of the airplanes, but rather through a controlled demolition orchestrated from within. Another potent narrative claims that certain elements within the U.S. government had foreknowledge of the attacks, or were even complicit in their execution. These theories are not just idle chatter. They tap into deep psychological and social currents. Humans have a natural inclination to seek patterns, especially in times of crisis. This cognitive bias can lead us to see connections where none exist. Moreover, distrust in institutions often fuels the fire of conspiracy theories, providing an alternative narrative that seems to offer control or understanding in a chaotic world. While intriguing, these theories often overshadow critical thinking and fact-checking. Did explosives bring down the World Trade Center? This question has fueled one of the most pervasive conspiracy theories about the events of September 11th. Let's delve into the facts and scientific findings that address these claims. The theory of controlled demolition suggests that the Twin Towers did not merely collapse due to the plane impacts and ensuing fires, but were instead brought down by strategically placed explosives. Proponents of this view cite the manner in which the buildings fell as evidence. However, extensive investigations and analyses provide a different narrative. When the hijacked planes struck the Twin Towers, they not only caused immediate and catastrophic damage to the structures but also ignited massive fires. The heat generated by these fires was immense, reaching temperatures well over 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This extreme heat weakened the steel framework of the towers. Steel loses about 50% of its strength at temperatures around 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit. Consequently, the floors impacted by the planes and fires began to sag, pulling inward on the building's exterior columns. This inward pull caused the outer columns to buckle, initiating the collapse. Once the upper sections of the towers started to fall, they gathered momentum, leading to what is known as a progressive collapse. This type of collapse appears sudden and total, which can be mistaken for a controlled demolition. Furthermore, no credible evidence of explosives has been found in the debris of the World Trade Center. Investigations by engineers, scientists, and federal agencies have consistently supported the conclusion that the fires, fueled by the jet fuel and office materials, were sufficient to bring down the buildings. Expert analyses and physical evidence strongly challenge the demolition theory. Could the government have been involved in 9-11s? This question has echoed through the corridors of numerous forums, blogs, and documentaries over the years. Today, let's dive deep into the allegations of government foreknowledge or involvement in the events of September 11th. The cornerstone of these allegations often points to supposed insider knowledge that the government had about the attacks and chose to ignore or, even more sinisterly, to facilitate. Critics argue that such foreknowledge implies complicity. However, these claims are not supported by the bulk of credible evidence available. A pivotal piece of evidence comes from the 9-11th Commission report, an exhaustive investigation carried out by independent experts. This report meticulously analyzed the events leading up to the attacks, the governmental responses, and the aftermath. It concluded that while there were significant intelligence failures and instances of miscommunication, there was absolutely no evidence that any part of the government had advanced knowledge of the plans for September 11th. Further inquiries and analyses by various investigative bodies have echoed the Commission's findings. They pointed out the systemic flaws in intelligence gathering and sharing, but found no traces of a deliberate act by government officials to aid the attackers. To understand why these conspiracy theories persist, it's essential to recognize the complex nature of intelligence operations. They are often marked by uncertainties and the fog of shifting threats that can obscure the clarity of hindsight. Misinterpretations and misinformation fuel these allegations, but thorough investigations have debunked them. What about the Pentagon and Flight 93? 
These aspects of the September 11th attacks also teem with conspiracy theories, each suggesting discrepancies in the official account. Let's delve into these claims and examine the robust evidence that counters them. Starting with the Pentagon, conspiracy theorists often question how a Boeing 757, the aircraft used in the attack, could leave such a relatively small impact hole. They propose that a missile or a smaller plane was actually used. However, detailed analysis of the wreckage, including identifiable plane parts like the landing gear and engine components, aligns perfectly with a 757. Moreover, numerous eyewitnesses, including commuters, office workers, and aviation professionals, reported seeing a large commercial airliner striking the Pentagon. As for Flight 93, the theory that the passengers did not revolt but that the plane was shot down by a missile circulates among skeptics. Yet, the recorded cockpit audio captures the passengers' courageous attempt to regain control from the hijackers. Furthermore, debris analysis and crash site investigation provide no evidence of an external strike like a missile. The spread of the wreckage over a large area is consistent with the plane crashing at high speed, as it tragically did, following the onboard struggle. In both cases, the conspiracy theories do not withstand the scrutiny of physical evidence and credible eyewitness accounts. Each piece of evidence reaffirms the reality of these tragic events, not the myths. How do conspiracy theories affect us? The reach of 9-11's conspiracy theories extends far beyond mere speculation and has woven itself into the very fabric of societal trust. These theories foster a pervasive atmosphere of distrust, not only towards the government but also within communities and amongst peers. When the public begins to entertain the idea that key events are orchestrated by those in power, the seed of skepticism grows. This skepticism, while healthy in measured doses, can spiral into a deep-rooted distrust when fueled by misinformation. It leads to a society where facts are contested and evidence-based reality is often overshadowed by sensational claims. Moreover, this landscape of doubt serves as fertile ground for the spread of further disinformation. Each unsubstantiated claim that gains traction paves the way for more, creating a self-perpetuating cycle of falsehoods. This not only distorts public perception but also hampers informed decision-making. Understanding the truth is crucial, not just for accuracy, but for our collective memory and respect for the victims. Remembering the true story of 9-11's honors those we lost. In the aftermath of such a monumental tragedy, it's vital to approach the memory of the fallen with both reverence and accuracy. The events of September 11th are etched in the collective memory of a nation, and indeed, the world. It's a narrative steeped in pain, resilience, and the unyielding spirit of humanity in the face of overwhelming adversity. Each individual lost on that fateful day had a story, a family, dreams, and potential. To remember them is to hold fast to the facts of their final moments and to dismiss the layers of falsehoods that have, over time, attempted to obscure the truth. Misinformation disrespects not only the integrity of historical record but more importantly, it disrespects those who lived and breathed these events. We owe it to them and to ourselves to seek the truth relentlessly, to question narratives with a critical eye, and to ensure that history remembers them accurately. Let us honor them with truth and thoughtful reflection. Today, we've explored and challenged the myths surrounding one of the darkest days in recent history. Throughout our journey, we've debunked the misconceptions of controlled demolitions, government complicity, and other misleading narratives. By leaning on verified facts and expert insights, we underscore the necessity of critical thinking. In an era brimming with information, discerning fact from fiction is not just a skill, it's a responsibility. Thank you for joining in this pursuit of truth. Feel free to share your thoughts and continue this vital conversation. In memory of all those who perished on September 11th, as we reflect, let us pledge to uphold the sanctity of truth, ensuring that the narratives we embrace honor those lost with dignity and factual integrity. Never forget, always question, always 